Now, basically, a uh, few questions we'll do. Uh, we'll see a series pattern also, and then we also do uh, how to find the uh, a wrong number also. Okay, so two things we'll do in one because in wrong number, it is search for wrong number. It becomes a bit, bit difficult question also, and then you need to say series pattern also, right? So both things will be done in single questions, right? So let's start with finding wrong wrong numbers. Okay, let's say uh, there is one find wrong number. Okay, in this series. Sure, let's start with this guys. So basically first one in this list is uh, we need to find uh, there's only one wrong, wrong number okay like for example we have 6, 26, 51, 86 and 317 correct. Right. So you need to find what uh, which, which, which are the wrong numbers which is the wrong number here okay. So just think over it for one minute so if you try to understand the pattern here okay so quite a uh, quite a uh, kind of this kind of series we should know actually okay because see if you try to find a difference here okay so like suppose for example if you take some kind of diff some kind of difference here for example this six okay so now this is a special series which is of the form you also need to look at like a square minus b square okay the series should be a series which relates to a square minus b square for example we can have series like this for example we can have first series here to, uh, like uh, 3 that is 2 square minus 1 square the next series can be uh, 4 square minus 3 square can be 9 okay next series can be uh, 6 square minus 5 square that is basically uh, 2 1 4 3 yeah 6 uh, 6 and 5 okay so that this can be uh, actually 11 okay this kind of series will basically go on so if you try to relate, uh, if you try to find uh, some kind of uh, series here, then directly you will not be able to find actually, okay. And so you should know this kind of pattern before. For example, we have got 6, we have got 26, we have got 51. We see difference here, difference is 20, difference is 25, difference is 86, there's 35 and difference is uh, 317, okay. So 86 to 317. Uh, again, that difference is basically 231 here. So, but we need, we need to understand that something is wrong also here. Okay. Something is being wrong also here. Okay. Now, that's what I'm saying. So, if, if you see this trend, uh, if you start with this difference, so we cannot find anything. Uh, every series cannot be solved with difference only. Right. So let's uh, keep aside this and understand this pattern here. Uh, that's a normal first approach that we try to see difference also only. Right. But let's say if you cannot find a difference, so we have this kind of, uh, we should understand this kind of approach here, guys. Deco. What is 6 now? So 6 is basically, uh, it is a is square minus b is square form. Okay. So actually it is 3 is square minus 2 is square. If you see, so basically, basically it is prime number of square. 3 is square minus 2 is square is 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay. Now, if you look at 26 here, now next two prime numbers basically are 7 is square minus 5 is square. It is 24 and it is 2 plus this. Okay. Then we have got 51 here. Okay. The next two prime numbers basically uh, are seven, after 7 uh, and 5, the next are 13, uh, I think 13 and 11. Yes. 13 square minus 11 square is basically 1 is 25 is 169 minus uh, 121 is 48. And is 3 plus this. Okay. Then you come to 86, right? So if you move the same pattern here, should be 1, should be 2, should be 3, this should be 4 here. Okay. Now 4 plus 13 after 30, the next two prime numbers are 17 square minus 30 square. If you solve it here, so 289 minus 169, okay. Uh, yeah. 289 uh, minus 1, is it thir oh, sorry, 13 we have used here, oh sorry. Should be 19 and 17, right? 13 already used here. 19 and 17. Yeah. So 361 minus 289 is 72 plus 4 is 76. So this should be 76 here. That means 86 is the wrong number. Okay. So you got to remember this, right? Basically, these are series. You should actually remember it. Okay. Something of the form which relates to a square minus b square 
and once I see in form of a square minus b square, it can be constituent integers also. It can be prime numbers also, right? So observe this pattern a square minus b square. Okay, and if you move forward again, it will satisfy this because this three one three is basically five plus a uh, four then five, and next two prime numbers are twenty nine and twenty three. Okay. Chal, this is a good question, right? Now, let's do the next one, guys. Okay, now it's question number two, guys. So again, we need to find some round number here. So one, two, uh, it's twelve point eight, forty one point six, eighty six point four, one forty seven point four, uh, then two twenty four, and then three one six point eight. Chalo, fine. Now we need to find the wrong number. Here. Okay. So first of all, all the decimals are here. Okay, so decimal basically just multiply everything by ten. Remove decimals, right? Okay. So. Twelve point eight. It should be one twenty eight. Then four one six. Then eight sixty four. Then one four seven four. Okay. Then two two four zero. And then three one six eight. So we'll divide everything by ten. Okay. And uh, here, with basically now, if if we try uh, try to find some kind of pattern here. Okay. So now, what is one twenty eight? Right. So one twenty eight and four one six. And if I'm trying to find some kind of pattern here. Okay, so one twenty eight and four one six. So I can basically sense that one twenty eight, four one six, eight sixty four are basically all multiples of eight. Okay, so let's try to find into some multiples of eight here. If I try to put this like let's say eight into sixteen is one twenty eight. Okay, then it this should be eight into uh fifty two. Okay, and it it should be eight into one zero eight. This I can see, right? But I'm trying to again find some pattern. Okay, some pattern here. Now, so pattern actually, which I'll I'll see here. I so I just see that okay, it's eight into sixteen. That's fine, but it's eight into fifty two. Eight into fifty two means this eight can be actually. Uh, if I if I if I write eight as sixteen, and I if I half the fifty two, the fifty two half will be twenty six. So after sixteen, we'll have twenty six here. And then if we one third is one zero eight, then we'll have thirty six here. Correct. So what pattern I got actually, guys? Okay, understand this part now. So what pattern actually I got? The pattern would be let's say the first is clear to be eight into sixteen. The next one should be uh, just right like this. This eight is here. Just right like this. Sixteen uh, into twenty six. Okay. The next is here eight and one zero eight. Now just Triple it, so eight triple twenty four. You can just one third. That is thirty four, thirty third, thirty six here. So you can see some pattern, right? This eight sixteen twenty four, right? And then you can see here sixteen twenty six thirty. So we got the pattern, right? So we got the pattern. So once we move, uh, move in this pattern in next for next number, it should be actually thirty uh, thirty two. It should be thirty two into uh. Forty six. Okay, so thirty two into forty six is basically one four seven two. So it is one four seven two, not one four seven four. Okay, and if you move in the series, actually, you'll see that the next number should be thirty two. Next next should be forty into fifty six. That is two two four zero. Correct, right? So that's the number one four seven two. That's the wrong number here. One four seven point four. Okay, so again, these are some typical series where you can you need to find the questions uh, or need to treat them on the merit actually. Okay, and we should know these things here. Fine, chalo. Third, we are at that. Again, need to find the wrong number here, guys. The uh, question is here: two six three, two eight four, three three one, three six two. Three seven three and four eighty two. Okay, I need to find some wrong number here. Okay, now again, so what is what is this pattern? If you observe, so again, it's quite very a very interesting one, guys. It's very very interesting one. Okay, just try to find all difference and everything, but at the last, you just observe this. It's a kind of observation, and you got to observe this, right? So how do you observe it? After solving such kind of problem, you see here, guys, two six three, two eight four, three three 
टू इंटू थ्री इज बेसिकली सिक्स टू इंटू फोर इज एट थ्री इंटू वन इज थ्री थ्री इंटू टू इज सिक्स तो थ्री इंटू सेवन इज नॉट ट्वेंटी वन फोर इंटू टू इज एट दिस इज द रॉन्ग नंबर इज द रॉन्ग नंबर कॉरेक्ट राइट टू इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू सिक्स विच मीन That means multiplication of extreme digits is equal to the middle number. Two into four is equal to eight. Okay, so that's the kind of uh, pattern you need to observe, right? So basically, we just practice so many problems. So we are practicing with uh, so many problems to just uh, give different kind of varieties here. Okay. Again, number series is, is a chapter in which, like uh, I, I told you earlier, also if you find two three question exam, and if you can crack it, so actually this kind of questions actually put ahead of the others. Right, we 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 put it in in any exam, it puts it puts us ahead of the others, way ahead of the others, right? Because if two questions of numbers are asked in exam, many people waste four five minutes and they don't uh, crack the series also. If you can crack the series two questions in two minutes, okay, then basically you are three minutes ahead of the others also and six marks ahead of the others also, right? That's why it's a great situation to be in. Okay, now let's start with fourth. Let's do fourth question now. Now, again, we need to find a wrong number here, and series is five, eight, twenty, ah, uh, ninety-five, six fifty, seven one four zero, and nine two eight zero eight. Okay, so that's the series here. Okay, I need to find what is basically ah uh, the wrong. What is wrong in this series here? Okay. Now, uh, if you observe this series, so again, it's you can observe it that it's a multiplicative series, right? Okay, it's increasing very fast, so it's a multiplicative series. That means something will getting something will be multiplied here. I don't know what, but something will be multiplied here for now. Okay, now if you see here five, then eight, then twenty, then ninety five, then six fifty, then seven one four zero. And then nine two eight zero eight. If you see what is being multiplied here, so I can quickly observe this actually. Okay, if you see five to eight, so let's say uh, it is it could be into one plus three also, or it could be into two minus two also. Okay, so five into ten is ten. Five into two is ten, and ten minus two is eight. I don't know what is that, right? Let's come to eight to twenty. Eight to two is into two plus four also. Okay. Or it could be eight into three minus four also. Okay, so eight into three minus four and eight into uh, this uh, into two plus four here, right? Now, if I move for twenty to ninety five, so it should be now it is into one into two. So obviously, it is not into three. Okay, it is not into three. Obviously, right? Okay, that means the above series actually goes off. Okay, above pattern. Now into two minus two into three minus four. Okay, now into twenty into five is hundred, so it should twenty to hundred is into five minus five. Okay, so into two minus into two minus two into three minus four into five minus five. Now ninety five to basically ah uh, six fifty. So something being wrong because if if we follow this pattern here, two two. Then three four, then it should be after three it should be five. Okay, then the pattern should be here if you observe. It is two, then four. Here it should be six. Correct, right? Hey na, because two four six and these are prime numbers into two into three into five. That's fine. Okay, but this should be into six. Let's try it out. Okay, so if I write this as into six, that means if I make it as ninety four. Then ninety four to six fifty. If I try to reach here, so if you ninety, it it will seven times, no? So ninety four into seven minus eight. Yes, I got the pattern right. You can sense it now. It's correct, right? See, into two minus two is the first one. Into three minus four. Then into five minus six. Then into seven minus eight. Okay. So one side is even number subtraction. Two, four, six, eight, and one side is prime number multiplication. Into two, into three, into five, into seven. Oh, that's why you have to find the pattern here, right? It was basically ninety-five is the wrong number here. Okay, it should be ninety-four. Correct. Okay. So again, good question. Fine. 